Keep it going, baby. Damn, I love this game. There's my Rexy. Oh, I forgot about the Rexes are in this game. This is when they actually wanted Hondas in the game. Oh, man. I'm Rich Ford Slab Trade, and welcome back today, guys, to the channel for a throwback, man. We are here, Forza Horizon 1, coming back to do a car build, man. Now, actually, what I've done is went ahead and picked up all of the DLC leading up to the end of the season pass and everything else after that as well too. I want to give a big thank you to Twisted Drifter. He actually let me know that I had to go through manually and pick up all the DLCs once again. If you guys do remember, uh, they were not on the actual storefront anymore. You actually have to go through and then manage game. In there you will find uh, you know, all your DLCs that you had previously. I just accidentally hit a button one too many times in there to go backwards. But uh, I think I know what I want to build for today, man. I've already went ahead downloaded it the beautiful 2012 shelby 1000 man 950 horsepower right out of the gate 767 foot pounds of torque weighing in at just over 3800 pounds we're gonna take this thing out for a spin do a few forza 1000 challenges man i don't know if you guys remember that or not but i just got a notification on the game saying that it just opened up so we did those a long time ago but i'm down to do a few of them again for today's episode ladies and gentlemen if you'd like to keep seeing forza horizon 1 on the channel don't forget to slap that like button so for the Forza 1000 Club and the current car that we're in, we have to do a combined speed, trigger three different speed traps with a combined speed of 300 miles an hour. Shouldn't be too hard. Perform one ultimate burnout skill. Try spinning your car on the spot while on asphalt. Blah, blah, blah. Man, it's super easy, man. Smash 10 signs. So number four is uh, we have to just perform two near miss skills, which seems to be pretty damn easy and then we also have a clean road trip so we have to drive from clear springs outpost to the gladestone creek outpost in 320 or faster without having a serious collision if you crash during a clean challenge try using rewind so what we're going to do we're just going to fast travel right over to where we need to go uh you need to fast travel anywhere you will unlock i, I thought i already unlocked all this shit man because i don't have enough tokens oh my god we actually have to fat we have to drive all the way over there when it is safe to do so Wow, that's a throwback to Anna if I've ever seen one. Holy shit. Now we also have the full wheel cam out for today, man. It's been a while since we have had this out. Now, unfortunately, I can't look left or right. The only thing I can do is look back. Let's just send it, man. We're going to send it right in first, do a few little burnouts. God damn. I did miss this game, though. I really did. That was pretty easy. We got our checkpoint already. God, that was okay. And we are running 540 degrees of rotation on the wheel. Um, I have zero force feedback. Unfortunately, they have not fixed that yet on the game. So I'm running with uh, nothing, man. We're just here having some fun with the wheel. And we're driving it 100% ourselves at this point, man. It's absolutely ridiculous. Trying to get some near misses. I think for the awesome ones, we need to be going quick. In 100 yards. Now, you know what I'm feeling, though? Turn right. I'm not feeling 540 with no force feedback. So we're going to bump it back up. Bring it back up to 900. Base damn arena comes on. Bumping. I see you right now. No, no, no. Not pulse. We need it just off, man. It's a nice-ass Mustang, man. I'd definitely take one. I mean, Dodge Demon don't have shit on this, right? I mean, that's all I'm saying. Oh, yep. She's good, though. Definitely controlling. And this game feels fun as hell on 900 though. Oh my god. It just feels so smooth with no force feedback. I know it's the weirdest thing to ever say, but it definitely does though, man. I don't know why. My headset is slowly dying. What is happening? I'm just trying to slide. That's it. 2.3 miles. I feel like I'm playing Forza Rise. Oh! That guy almost killed us! Son of a bitch! But I feel like I'm playing Forza Horizon 3 every single time, and I always want to be on this damn left-hand lane now. This game has screwed me up forever. Here we go. Now, if you guys do remember, uh, this game had no tuning whatsoever, man. We could not tune our cars, which was for the first time the only Forza to ever... Oh my god, I told you, man. No Force feedback. It's tough, right? Uh, first game to ever not allow us to tune, and it definitely made a lot of people upset including myself when the game first came out. Uh, but I, you know, I feel like after a while you got used to it, you got over it! Oh. Try playing this game with no force feedback. It is not 
an easy thing, man. It really isn't. You have to really just control the wheel 110%. But, uh, I mean, I'm down to give it a shot, man. You know, I'd love to play anything with the wheel as long as it's fun. And this is definitely fun. Especially with a 1,000 horsepower, right, man? I mean, that's all I'm saying right now. 1,000 horsepower? Can't go wrong. And a few close taps. Just whipping the wheel around, man. Literally whipping it at our own discretion. It's Orion right there, man. No shit. Oh, it's Orton. God, sorry. I thought it was damn Hager Garage right there in front of us. All right, so this is where we need to go. So we need to fast travel now 1.9 miles back this way. Just got here. Just, just to fast travel backwards. Okay, that's fine. Remember, no serious crashes. It didn't say no serious drifts, though, right? I mean, we can slide if we want. We just got to be careful. Oh, that's all coming. Yep, sorry. We got the skill, though. Let's go. Now, this is one of the things that I really wish that Forza Horizon 3 did was include, uh, you know, a new 1,000 club, maybe a 2,000 club, right? I mean, it sounds stupid when I say it like that, but you guys know what I'm talking about, though, man. I just wanted something else like this that allowed us to really just have some fun with each car and offer little challenges along the way. I mean, I guess they kind of do because it's kind of like a Forza thon, right? I mean, in a sense. Hey, oh, new barn find. I'm hearing about another barn find. Shit, girl. Well, let me know. But I gotta see this on the map here. Where is it? Creek where the barn find is supposed to be. Gladestone Creek. I just wish though that all my shit saved from Forza Horizon One on the Xbox 360 because I had a lot of cars, a lot of tunes. A lot of paints, right? But uh, they're all gone. That's a crazy jump to hit, man. I do remember hitting that jump back in the day. But the memories, though, on Forza Horizon 1, man, coming back to each game is really just a blast of the past, man. The amount of open lobbies and such that we did back in the day, uh, it was incredible, man. You know, I really do appreciate everybody that did come around to them. If you guys are, you know, a part of the channel for so long that you've been watching since Forza Horizon 1, well, we've made quite the climb since those days, man. It really has been. Uh, no, I really appreciate everybody that has stuck to the channel. God damn, I'm in the grass, man. All right, so let's get a quick recap here. We have uh, three of them. All we need is two more left. So we need to hit two more speed traps, and we need to hit nine more signs. So that should be pretty easy. We're going to go ahead and look for that barn find at the exact same time because, honestly, um, I want to know what is in door number one, man, right? I mean, shit. All right, we're going to take it right here, look for this barn find first. But, you know, I just don't understand how come this car never made it into Forza Horizon 2 or 3. It just, it was such a beast, man. It really was. And it sucks to think that, you know, maybe it was all licensing. And I think that was one of the reasons why they had to not put this up on the marketplace anymore was due to licensing. So I hope you guys did get your Forza Horizon 1, uh, you know, when it was available. I do believe you can still put in the disc. I'm not 100% sure on that. Let me know in the comments section if you can, please. But uh, we're looking for this barn find and just listening to this thing purr as we do so. I'm going to take this little uphill right now. Oh, it sounds so damn nice, man. Oh, we got a little bit of feedback. The dirt, we have force feedback. Oh, shit. Okay. We just flipped the script on this game. Oh, the force feedback feels fantastic on the dirt. Oh, my God. How come we only have force feedback in the dirt? That's what I want to know right now. Oh, it just kicked it in, man. We have force feedback for the entire thing right now. The dirt kicked it on, man. Look at this. Oh, we're good. Oh, this is sick, man. I was not expecting to have force feedback. Note to self, uh, hit the dirt next time you get online, and force feedback should kick in. It's, it's very aggressive. It's very rough, but it's fun as shit to know that we actually have force feedback now, and I can hold some damn lines because, obviously, you can drift a hell of a lot easier with force feedback than without it, right? I mean, but you just definitely need to know what the hell's happening. Fourth gear. Remember, this thing is stock, and we are ripping her, man. But we did lose our part. Oh, geez. But I do see another sign, so the sign is first priority right now. Just clipped it. Reminds me of Too Fast, Too Furious. And I'm looking for that jump again, man. I want to hit that jump. What do you guys know about this life? Forza Horizon 1 jump life, man. What do you know about it? It's right here, I think. No, we're... Yeah, it's right here. Here we go. Oh! That's not what I had in mind. Remember, we had damage back in the day, man. Look at our car. Our car is dummy. I feel like we just don't have damage like we did back in the day. That's all I'm saying. We're definitely going to have to hit the mountain before we finish up today's episode now that we do have force feedback. Uh, but we also need to hit up this barn find, and I cannot find it. 
But I do remember they were pretty well hidden. And look at- Oh, I knew it! I knew it, man! Look at that! Oh, is that the Mercedes? That may be the Mercedes right now. Oh, man. Oh, it is, now, too. That's a barn find from heaven. Let's go. This pretty lady is a Mercedes-Benz 300 SL Coupe. Mm. I'm sure you'll agree. She is one of the most beautiful cars ever made. God damn it. You it's going to be again. a real pleasure restoring her to her former glory. And when it I'm finished, you will have one of the most collectible cars in the world. Yep. Okay, man. I miss Dax, though. Shit. It's been a while. Um, we're going to go ahead and let's hit up the next spot on the map that I want to check out. And that is going to be to the mountain section. Of course, man. We got to. A little bit of red rock. Uh, we're just going to place a marker all the way up here. We have a speed trap right up there as well, too. So that'll be perfect. We should hit a couple along the Turn way. When it is safe to do so. Okay. We need a few more signs to pick up as well, too. And we should be good. But look at the wheel spin. I see a sign. Let's get it. Now I'm trying to remember, is this going to count towards our challenges for the Forza Rewards Club? I'm not 100% sure on that, but I'd love to know your thoughts down below if it will or not. And uh, if you guys have not noticed, though, it is coming to the end of the month. We're going to be talking about our Fast and the Furious month for next episode, so make sure you guys do stay locked on the channel. But uh, the last few things that we just got exposed to over the last week, Forza Horizon 3... Hot Wheels expansion that just the guy just got pushed right out the way. I don't have any explanation on that shit. But Hot Wheels expansion is fast approaching. We got about maybe a week and a half to two week wait. I gotta say, I wish it was coming out now, man. It's very stressful having to wait for that shit now that they've teased us with what we're getting, right? I mean, we're so used to just have oh whoa whoa full lock. We just lost her. Okay, we didn't we didn't hit the wall though. We're okay. We're okay. I'm curious to see how fast we can actually get this thing up to in terms of top speed. This force feedback though is fun, man. I love this. So happy this works with the wheel. This honestly just made my entire weekend knowing that I can get Forza Horizon 1 on the wheel to work. Oh, just, just tap two, three, three. We got another one. We got, okay, we just got it all, man. Big thank you, 18 out of 10. But uh, I will be doing a separate video very soon regarding the Hot Wheels expansion with all your thoughts in the comments. Uh, you know, the video that I posted the day that it came out got a lot of damn views, man. It cleared like 140,000 right now, so it definitely picked up. I want to give a big thank you to everybody that did check out that episode. Uh, it was a fun thing to make. You know, it came out so quick. Kind of dissected the trailer a little bit. If you guys have not seen it, highly recommend checking it out down below. Uh, we are plowing through these discount signs, though. Pretty nice having the game fully damn refreshed. Hey, it sucks, but it's nice really at the same time. The damn right, girl. Whew. New showcase. What you got? I'm on the way to get some toge. In yep. Just ripping this shit, man. It's our playground right now. We're making it work. Now, if you guys still do play this game online, let me know. I'd be down to get a little open lobby going or something, man. I think that would be hella fun. Be able to bring in some cars, you know, some damn drifting. I don't know, man. I mean, somebody that maybe knows the spot still, to be honest with you, it's been so long since I've played. I only know, like, the main spots in the game. And I know there wasn't too many, being only Forza Horizon 1. The guy just got tapped. But, um, you know, there's definitely some really good low-key drift spots in the game that not a lot of people actually knew about. So, I'd love to get some damn online lobbies going. Let me know your thoughts down below. We are ripping this for a damn fourth gear right now. Woo! It's fun to drive this car. I was actually really excited when I was able to pick this thing up after I downloaded it. Well, I will, sir. Just give me a little bit. Like I said, I'm trying to hit this damn toge. We're on our way right now. There's another one. 107. We got two out of three. All we need to do is 25 miles an hour to get this next one. No, no, no. High Balloon Noon, man. That was the new showcase event. Unfortunately... That's going to have to wait, girl. And I do believe we are right by the mountain range. What I'd like to do right now, we're not going to upgrade this. This is a badass machine as it sits by itself. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and just reset our damage because I cannot stand to look at that shit sometimes. There may be a faster way, but I can't remember. So we're just going to go off and on. And that should be exactly what we need. Forza Horizon 1, Shelby 1000 versus the mountain. Oh, man, it's going to be bad. Oh, my Jesus. Sorry. Um, I really didn't want to start it off like that. We just took off the damn 
RXA rear bumper, man. That's something that I haven't seen in Forza for quite some time. I feel like the damage models on this game were so much better than the next-gen models have been. I mean, I don't know if that's just me. Let me know your thoughts. Oh, these guys have got to get out of the damn way, man. We got too many people just cruising like it's a damn Sunday drive, even though it is a Sunday. But shh, you know what I mean, man. Get off the road. You're trying to drift. Oh. No. No. Mustang versus Mustang. We've already done that one, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, we have. That was, that was actually one of the very first events in the game. When this thing gets going, though, it is buck wild, man. I definitely want to turn down the force feedback a little bit. But I think I'm going to wait for next episode just because I've already got this thing dialed. Oh, yeah. Too much. Too much throttle. And back in the day, we'd be yelling, saying, man, I wish I can tune this bitch. Oh, running the damn wall right now. Biggest thing is just don't let it go full. If it goes full lock, we're screwed, man. It's not a wise fat kid on this bitch. Got her. 66, we got the medal. And that is going to be the completed Forza 1000 Club for this damn Ford Mustang. Or damn Shelby, whatever, 1000 series. You know what I'm talking about. Wheel is so strong, you have no idea. It is literally a battle on every corner. But I love it though. Fighting to hold the angle, not to go full lock. Just hope I don't break the wheel in the process, man. I mean, if it does, it went to a good cause, man. Forza Horizon 1 episode, back on the wheel. I mean, I wouldn't be mad about it. I mean, I would be, 110%. But, wouldn't be as mad if I just broke it by accident, right? I mean, that's all I'm saying. Oh, just a tap. Nope. You didn't even tap it. Step on that clutch. Just from drifting? Shit, what is this, need for speed? Oh, just tap! I mean, made it to the top of the hill. Definitely gonna need to tighten up my rig after this episode, man. It is tough with this force feedback. Oh, on the outside! Keep it going, baby! Damn, I love this game. There's my wreck seat! Oh, I forgot about the CRXs are in this game. This is when they actually wanted Hondas in the game. Oh, man. I missed you. If you guys don't know or are new to the channel, I owned a CRX. I owned two of them. I loved them. Forza apparently doesn't because they stopped bringing them in, right? I mean, shit, man. We should get a damn hashtag start, man. Bring back the CRX or some shit. I'm just kidding, man. But imagine if that starts trending. Oh, ooh, now I'd love to know in the comment section what car do you want to see done next for next episode, man. I have the entire car list, DLC and all. So make sure you guys do open up your horizons on this shit and pick some dlc cars to drive for next episode open your horizons man you get that shit right i mean oh my god ladies and gentlemen thank you guys so much for watching once again for today's episode here on forza horizon one man what a throwback definitely love coming back to this super excited that the wheel works if you guys are having trouble like i said the best way to get it to work um i had to just hit the dirt as soon as i hit the dirt force feedback kicked in and voila we have force. all right last run down the mountain but like i said though it was a force feedback with the dirt man the dirt helped me out i don't know how but i'm not gonna ask any questions man let me know your thoughts down below were you struggling with force feedback issues i'm gonna run this down if we screw up at all i think that is gonna do it for today's episode man i definitely had a lot of fun coming back to this hopefully you guys did watching it ladies and gentlemen thank you guys so much for being a part of this damn channel man it's been really cool to really go back to these older games that we have already played and live through man i mean this is sick glad you guys are back for more content and i'm definitely down to keep doing forza horizon one as long as you guys want to see it i mean personally i'm having a blast on this shit man the force feedback just kicked it in that much more you're a showcase event alice you screwed me up girl it doesn't count it's on her so she gave us a shit ton of showcase events don't hit the wall barely touched it Ladies and gentlemen, thank you guys so much for watching. We may hit those showcase events for next episode. Leave me your thoughts down below. Jamal Slab Train, I'm out.